The most popular video on my channel is me reviewing a phone case. So you know what? Let's let's make a let's make another one. Let's let's make a let's make another one. About a couple months back, I bought a case from a site called Bizarre Dodo. I saw it from an ad on Facebook. Yes, I still use Facebook. Leave me alone. The art designs was really up my alley. The case designs, on the other hand, was not up my alley. In fact, it was in a dark alley. No lights. The case was super slippery and did not protect your phone. In fact, you had to protect the case because it was really prone to scratches. Oh, and it cracks too. Like, not only did it not protect your phone, there was like a stat debuff that made your phone lose all of its grip. It was like using your phone on the hardest difficulty. It was not good. That being said, I'm not hating on the company because they actually saw my dog shit video and might be making changes to the case design. So, you know, that, that that's that's cool. That's pretty cool. Will I buy another case from them when they remake the case design? Nah. Because the new case I got from Boomslack is really, really good. Boomslack is a company that sells various items on their own artwork. I actually found out about this company a little while back when I went to Crunchyroll's Anime Expo a year ago. I actually got a dope shirt too. Boomslack is actually a bit pricey and their phone cases are no exception. Coming at a massive $35 for the snap case and a $40 tough case, this can be compared to Bizarre Dota's glow cases at $25 and their LEDs at $45. But trust me when I say this, the $40 tough case from Boomslack is well worth the money. If you like the design and you want a case that can be your daily driver, this is it. The package from Boomslack cases are honestly underwhelming compared to Bizarre Dota's case coming in a black reusable box that you can store the case back inside. Boomslack's packaging is a foam sleeve and the box, which is the shipping package that I had to cut open so not too crazy. The case, however, is a different story. The Tough Case is a two-part case that has a rubber sleeve for your phone and a plastic back that sits on top of the rubber. Although the case is made of plastic, its grip is far better than Bizarre Dodo's slippery back. But where this case really shines is not the back, but the front. The rubber sleeve has the top and bottom protruding out with a harder form of rubber making essentially legs for the phone. This means when you want to show off your case, you can place your phone face down on a table and the screen of the phone will not be touching the surface, which is awesome! I was so hesitant on making a review for this case due to Bizarre Dodo's review becoming a trilogy that I actually held off for 3 months to review this case. 3 months later, I can safely say that this case is a green light. I have only dropped my phone once and that was me knocking off the table. There is so little damage to this case, it's really hard to make out. For 3 months, this case has not slipped or fallen off a table on its own and lets me show off the design without harming the screen of the phone. It also provides some sort of protection, the sleeve being made of rubber and all, but this is how a designer case is supposed to be made. In a way that doesn't compromise your phone's safety and encourages you to place it face down to show off the art, this case excels at that. Boomslack cases are also compatible with wireless charging. Is this case worth $40? Yes and no. For $40, you can buy a way better case if you need the extra protection, but if the art style is worth that much to you, and in my case it is, it is well worth $40. I'm a big fan of Gundam animes, and one of my favorites is RxO Unicorn Gundam. Boomslack does say that the art designs are inspired by the beloved anime series and music, and the case I got, Megalith, was inspired by a music track from Ace Combat 4. But come on, that looks like full armor and that dude on the bottom looks like Banager. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. For the art and a functioning case that does not slip, crack, or break easily, this is once again well worth the money if you happen to like the art. Oh, I haven't brought this up yet, but there are really small and super hard to see hairline scratches on this case, but I bought my case in the glossy variant, which is a fingerprint magnet, but if that's not your vibe, it also comes in a matte finish, which should be better than both scratches and fingerprints. I don't know. I like the glossy one better because it's shiny. I don't <laughs> I don't really have a reason. So would I truly recommend this case? Yes, 100% if you like the art. If you're not a fan of the art, then there are way better cases out there for $40. And one more thing, although I was clowning on Bizarre Dodo a lot in this video, I know they mean well, but the case design really needs a rework. But I still respect the artists for their work. I really like the artists on this page. My favorite designs come from artists like Halosion and her My Hero art, Noel Z and his beautiful photography, Da Vinci Dante and his cyberpunk theme art style. They're amazing and there are other creators there. If you like them, go show your support by following them on their social media and buy their themed stuff, except the phone cases, those are bad. I don't really know if their other stuff they sell are good or bad, but leave in the comments down below if you purchase anything other than a phone case from Bizarre Dodo. I would really like to hear your thoughts on it, I'm actually really curious. And go check out Boomslack stuff as well if you're in the market for a cool and functioning phone case. <sighs> That's basically it, I'm sorry if I haven't been consistent with the videos recently, 
college is hitting me like a truck, man. It's tough. But I got a PC video coming up soon, so that's something to look forward to. Oh, and I bought the entire Dead Space collection for like 20 bucks. Uh, the sale's probably over right now. I'm sorry I didn't upload this in time to tell you that. But the entire Dead Space collection uh, franchise was on sale, and I picked it up, you know, to do a stream or something. Because, you know, in the spirit of Halloween and such, that's gonna be... I, I suck. I'm, I'm like a bitch when it comes to horror games and stuff so that would be fun i got like a stream coming up that's gonna be cool the computer video will be done soon i'll upload that next after this i think or maybe i might need some more time i don't really know all right that's really it for this video uh like comment subscribe do all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys later on the next video see ya